Hi guys, welcome to Comfort Life Channel. I hope you're doing great. And in this video, I thought we would talk about a perfect, safe, um, and actually very affordable uh, sort of disinfecting solutions or natural cleansing spray or uh, sanitizer you could use for your kids toys for the stroller and actually for just the house to cleaning the kitchen for cleaning the bathroom anything you can imagine I personally even wash the floors with it well uh, the reason I am talking about this right now is that because when you have kids and you definitely want to go as chemical free as it's possible but at the same time you want things to be effective right in this terms here we need to make sure that the baby is not exposed to let's say too many germs and obviously we have to clean the baby's toys you know because you carry them around they fall and you know it's just they become dirty and um, even though I think that certain amount of germs is not by no means bad for your baby actually germs might be beneficial because they help uh, to build up the immune system for your baby but of course you have to make sure that they are clean so what I normally do I try to clean my baby's toys um, you know every second day and obviously you have to clean the pacifiers and teethers and the bottles um, on a daily basis uh, there are two simple ways of um, sanitizing things like pacifiers bottles or teethers you can either boil them which is extremely simple you just get a big um, uh, you know pot and fill it up with water put the toys in there and boil for 15 minutes then make sure you know they get cool and then they dr you air dry them if you have a w dishwasher you could use that and it's actually a very convenient tool for this reason but if you just need to make sure that you know you have big toys electronic musical toys and uh, even the you know your favorite baby's teddy bear they also need to be cleaned and you obviously cannot boil them and um, in this case you will need to use a solution that I'm happy to share with you and give you a couple of options here so one of the easiest way to prepare a sanitizing uh, spray solution is to mix one cup of distilled vinegar with one cup of distilled water and uh, basically you are done well you could obviously add essential oils well with the essential oils I would be very careful because if you have kids under two um, most of the oils are not allowed you know um, I normally use an essential oil I use either 30 drops of lavender oil or about uh, you know 5 10 drops of the tea tree oil both are known as perfect um, you know antibacterial essential oils when I every time I clean my toils I make sure my baby's not around and uh, well I guess that makes a lot of sense so the way you use this solution I can show you um, I use um, a spray bottle I basically mix everything and put it in a spray bottle and then when you have a toy you spray the solution on it let it sit for one two minutes and then you wipe it clean or you let it air dry if you have um, let's say like a musical table and you need to make sure you clean it I normally get just a cloth and I spray the solution on the cloth and then I wipe the toy and if you're interested I am using a uh, regular Heinz uh, you know distilled vinegar I normally buy, buy it in big um, amounts like one gallon if you have some extra time and want to sort of do something um, really nice you could make an infused vinegar for this reason you could use um, the lemon peel or the orange peel even and get some rosemary and just make it infused let it sit for a day or so and then you use it you know um, the same as um, the sanitizing spray also you could use vinegar this solution not only for the toys I would recommend you using it for you know wiping up the um, baby's uh, high chair the dining table the stroller as far as essential oils um, there are certain essential oils that by no means you need even to uh, you know uh, diffuse around kids um, I can put the list down below and of course you could do your own research but the such oils as lemon tea tree oil uh, lavender and lemongrass oil and orange oil uh, should be fine you know if you use it in a spray bottle and then you cleanse your toy with it um, I'm talking about the spray here not a um, topical application another so and another recipe which is not even a recipe is for you to get a um, hydrogen peroxide a 3% uh, topical solution and this could be a perfect cleaner by itself already well first of all if you want to have uh, some sort of smell you know and add some antibacterial uh, properties you could of course also add lavender and tea tree oil and lemon oil and uh, the way you use it is absolutely the same as the sanitizing spray you wipe your toys with it or just spray it on the toys and the same thing you wipe it clean or let it air dry sometimes 
sometimes uh, you could, you know, sometimes uh, when I wash, like once a week, I usually wash all the toys. Not only wipe them, but I really wash them. For this reason, I could use either, uh, you know, the bath tube or even the kitchen sink. And what I do, I fill it up with uh, really hot water. I put all the toys in there and then I could add either some vinegar or I could add some uh, baking soda or I can uh, add the hydrogen peroxide for this case but in my opinion you know if you want to if you're washing the toys already you just fill up the sink or the bath tube and you, then you do the water like a soapy water you let it sit in there and then you just uh, wash them you know run uh, the water so there is no soap or you know baking soda solutions left and then you let it air dry so that's as easy as that Another way of using hydrogen peroxide for the kid could be if you have, you know, baby, baby's toothbrush, which, you know, he's carrying around because, he, you know, he's brushing his teeth or you brush the teeth or before he goes to sleep or after every meal, you could basically soap his toothbrush using a cup of um, hydrogen peroxide. Another reason I really like hydrogen peroxide is that you can clean the plush and, uh, you know, the fabric toys with it. You just spray it on it and it's actually, you know, the studies uh, prove that it can prevent the spread of the disease. Another thing I always have on hand um, as far as cleansing is 70% um, alcohol. I normally use the solution to uh, wipe the stroller's handles because you know you are um, you know in the supermarket whenever you are you always touch the handles and then you touch the baby so you always want to make sure they are clean. So I use that um, and um, I'm really happy about it. The smell evaporates because it's alcohol very, very fast. I also know some people in place of vinegar, they also use either vodka or alcohol, but I find vinegar work just better. So these are my tips of cleansing baby's toys, um, you know, bottles and pacifiers and whatnot. I never use bleach in my house and I think um, it's not really the best uh, idea. I think that the DIY sanitizing spray using either vinegar or the hydrogen peroxide, they, it works just perfectly fine for me and I hope you will like this recipe as well. As always, I wish you to stay very happy, very healthy. I wish just all the best for your kids. Please put the thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you later.